Hi ladies, it's Gracie and I'm here with my first tutorial on how to make these beautiful Prima butterflies and I believe they're called Farfalla. Uh, they're just gorgeous. Um, let me see if I can zoom this on screen for you guys. See how pretty those butterflies are? And I didn't want to make them exactly like that, um, so I'm going to show you my tutorial on um, how these butterflies inspired uh, my creations. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks! Okay everyone, let's go ahead and get started on how I created these um, faux Prima butterflies. Um, I'm just going to take these away. And I started out with the cuddle bug um, butterflies. And these particular cuddle bugs have the embossing folders as well as a cutting mat with it. So this is what I started out with. I cut my butterflies. They'll look like this. And then I took the antennas off. Just went in here and cut those off both of them like that and then I got my Tim Holtz distressing ink and this is in vintage photo and just kind of went to town on the butterflies aged them up a little bit like so then I set that to the side and I got, this is a Inkadoodle um, stamp and I did a Jennifer McGuire technique on this stamp. Just started with my lighter color and just kind of stamped all over it and progressively got darker using pink. Stamped everywhere and then I got a, it's kind of a burgundy color and ended up with a blue. Just random. And got my homemade glimmer mist and this one is Inca Gold because I actually made this from some shimmer paint. Now I'm just going to shake it up and just cover the stamp with a couple of spritzes. And then I line these two butterflies up and I'm just going to stamp right on top of them. Like so. Pull them off. Then I'm going to get my heat tool. Sorry, this is going to be a little loud. And dry these. And then next, I'm going to go back over them a little bit with just a little finger dauber and some more vintage photo to make them a little bit darker in some places that I think they need to be. There we go. I like that now. And the way that I made the little butterfly bodies I did two different techniques um, just to see which one I liked and I'm sure you've all seen these little leaves that you can get um, from the wedding department at Hobby Lobby or Michaels and um, they come pre-attached to these little wires and I just peeled the leaf right off of it and I used a paintbrush and a little dab of hot glue and just rolled it up like so and put hot glue at the end of it. And that makes um, his little body. And I've got another one over here that's already finished. So I got this, and this is the first one that I made. And I, you know, measured, see if I liked it, cut it off. I think he's about this long. 
and then put a dot of hot glue in here and I use low temp um, hot glue so it doesn't burn me <laughs> for those of the faint of heart that think I'm burning myself I'm really not um, and then I just kind of rounded this edge to make it look like his little bottom and then I took these little things that are also found in the wedding department at any of these box stores and just pinched them together like so and then crossed them in half just to make that little loop and then again I added some hot glue here and kind of pinched them and then I'll cut all this other piece off got his little body there's an opening of the leaf right there and I just put some more glue in there and stick my little antenna in there smush them together and that's kind of the the butterfly body kind of snip off where you need to and you can add it there but I thought it was a little bit big um, really didn't like how that one turned out so that was the first one that I did like I said I really didn't like it and so this is the second one that I came up with and I used something a little bit different clean this up a little bit these are these huge flowers that you can get and there's like seven or eight layers in them and I just decided to cut a leaf off of that one. Sorry, there's glue everywhere. <laughs> Love my glue gun. And I just put a, um, oh, I forgot. I've got a, I did distress this little leaf. This ran some of this Tim Holtz distressing ink on top of it. Now I'm going to get the glue gun. Just put a little drop like that. And then fold it over. And drop the glue right there. And I just thought this made a better body. But I mean, you can do what you want. And again, I get this, pinch it, and then cross them over. Make that little circle down here. A little drop of glue, pinch them, trim away some of this excess glue, and there's a little opening, drop some glue in there, put him right inside, turn him over and pinch, and then I'm just going to measure where I think his bottom should be, uh, about right here. Cut that and stick a little piece of glue in there just to seal that hole shut and pinch him and then shape his bottom. Run uh, some glue right down the center. Stick his little body on there. oh my gosh we have a cute little butterfly and you can alter him however you want him and you can just see how it creates little different butterflies and I mean you can do so many different things with this little technique and you can just go crazy anyway thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial